Hi everybody, it's Beth, and today I'm making a gingerbread cutting board. I used this gingerbread napkin from Walmart, this decorative cutting board also from Walmart, and that I found in the crafting section, some different ribbons and raffia, moss and plaster chalk paint, Mod Podge and Huck Glue. What I did first was took the cutting board and painted it with the moss color chalk paint. I did the back and the sides and I did two coats. And then on the front where I'll be putting the napkin, I painted it with the plaster color chalk paint and I did two coats of that as well. Once everything was dry, I took my napkin and opened it up and just cut off one of the little sections where the gingerbread design is. And then I removed the two layers on the back of the napkin image. Next, I took the Mod Podge and I applied it about where the napkin was gonna be. So I just placed the napkin where I wanted it to the side and just applied Mod Podge just about where it was gonna be. Just a nice thin layer. And then I dried that Mod Podge. And then I placed down the image, smoothing it out over the Mod Podge. And then took some parchment paper and my travel iron and ironed on the image over the Mod Podge. So what it does, it reactivates it and then dries it. And I really love doing it this way because I don't get really any bubbles or wrinkles. And then I did an outer layer of Mod Podge and this time I covered the napkin as well as the rest of the front of the cutting board so it would have all of the same shine to it. And then I wanted to make a bow, so I had some strips of burlap and ribbon. Just took each piece, pinched it in the center of the strip, placed it in my hands in a crisscross pattern, and then just kept using different ribbons to fill it out and added in some raffia as well. And then once I had all the ribbon in place, I took some twine and just wrapped it around the center where I was holding it with my hands and just tied it nice and tight. And then to fluff it up, I just pinched the back of it and then kind of pull all the ribbons up and forward and trimmed off any excess to get it to the size I wanted. And then the last thing I did was hot glued the bow right into place. Yeah. 
And that's it. Super cute and pretty. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.